Hi! Today we are going to discuss about exclamatory and imperative sentences. Ouch! My head is aching! Oh no! I love my new toy! Please pick up the pieces of paper. Put your bag here. Now let us go back and analyze the first sentence. Does the sentence express emotion or feeling? Yes, of course. What emotion do you think is being expressed? Hurt. And how do you know it? Simply by using the expression ouch with an exclamation point. What about this one? Does the sentence express emotion or feeling? Yes. What emotion do you think is being expressed in the sentence? Happiness. And how do you know it? By understanding the sentence and it also used an exclamation point. So what kind of sentences are they? They are called exclamatory sentences because they express strong emotions or feelings by using exclamation point for emphasis. Now here are some examples of different emotions or feelings. Mad Sad Angry Scared Happy Surprised Shocked And tears of joy Please take note that if you use an expression to show emotions or feelings, it should always be followed by an exclamation point. Then, begin again with capital letter and end with period, just like this one. Yahoo! I won the contest! Wow! Here are some examples. Yay! We are going to the park! My pet is dying! The house is burning! Oh no! What a beautiful place! Wow! Oh no! My wallet is missing! After we analyze the first two examples of exclamatory sentences, let us go back to this one. Does the sentence request us to do something? Yes. How does the sentence ask a request? By using the word, please. And what punctuation mark is used? It's a period. What about this one? Does the sentence give a command? Yes. Does the sentence also use polite expression in giving command? No. What punctuation mark is used? Still, it's a period. These two are examples of imperative sentences because they give command or request and end with a period. Now the question is, what is the difference between command and request? Say what? When we say command, it directly gives an order and it doesn't use polite expressions. Example, get the glass of water or wash the dishes. And when we say request, it also gives an order but it uses polite expressions such as please, kindly, would you, and could you. Examples 
please get the glass of water or kindly wash the dishes. Please take note, if you're going to use would you or could you in giving request, use question mark, just like this one. Could you open the door? Here are some examples of command. Bring the basket. Water the plants. Get the book. And here are examples of requests. Kindly clean my shoes. Please water the plants. Could you get the books? All these examples are what we call imperative sentences. Once again, when we say imperative sentence, it gives command or request and ends with a period. An exclamatory sentence expresses strong feelings or emotions and it uses an exclamation point. These two, together with declarative and interrogative, are the four different kinds of sentence. How to write exclamatory or imperative sentences? Now, the same with interrogative and declarative sentences. They also begin with capital letter and do not forget to use the appropriate punctuation mark. Wow! Now, it's time to try this activity. Come on, let's start. You are going to do the wacky face if the sentence is imperative and the happy face if it is exclamatory sentence. Pick some flowers in the garden. A wacky or a happy face? Alright, it's a wacky face because this is imperative. Would you clean the house? Is it a wacky face or a happy face? Very good! It's a wacky face because this is imperative. Alright! I passed the test. Is this a wacky face or a happy face? It's a happy face because this is an exclamatory. Don't talk to me. Get out of this room. Is this a wacky face or a happy face? Correct. It's a happy face because this is an exclamatory. Kindly follow the line. Is it a happy face or a wacky face? Very good. It's a wacky face because this is imperative. Yay! Father is coming home early. Is this a happy face or a wacky face? Good! It's a happy face because this is exclamatory. Please stay at home. Is it a wacky face or a happy face? Very good! It's a wacky face because this is imperative. Sweep the floor. Is it a happy face or a wacky face?
All right, it's a wacky face because this is imperative. You are so gorgeous today. Is it a happy face or a wacky face? Exactly, it's a happy face because this is exclamatory. Hey, there is someone outside. Is this a happy face or a wacky face? Correct, it's a happy face because this is an exclamatory. Good job! Congratulations! And that ends our discussion for today. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to like and share this video and of course subscribe on my channel. So see you all again. Bye!